Hello, Internet. Welcome to Hot Tips. My name is Charlie, and this is Beholder. Now, Beholder is a brand new game that came out yesterday. I thought it looked pretty interesting, and the, I thought it was a little different. And I thought maybe you guys might think it's interesting, too. So if you like this game, once you're done watching this, of course, uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know that you like it, and maybe we'll continue doing it in the future. Uh, so this is essentially takes place in a grim dystopian future according to the listing page for it on Steam Which right now it's only eight dollars. So it's actually not that bad of a deal um, You operate in a totalitarian state which controls every aspect of private and public life You could think of this like say North Korea if you want a good example So laws are oppressive surveillance is like everywhere and privacy is basically dead in Beholder, you play as a sort of state-installed manager of an apartment building. And your job is to make sure that your tenants are not going against the state's wishes. And so you're tasked with spying on your tenants. And there's a, a whole bunch of different missions and quests that's requested of you. There's a lot of different tasks that the state will give you. Um, there's a lot of different decisions to make throughout the course of the game that can impact the ending as well. So it's not incredibly linear in, in the sense that you have some control. And you also have a lot of choices to also ultimately govern what sort of character you want to be. So I thought that kind of sounded interesting. Here's the settings. They're very basic. There's not a whole lot of for controls in the game. Most of it is just sort of a click kind of base thing. And uh, we're going to be playing on highest resolution as far as graphics goes and all that stuff. So, uh, so let's just get into it. I'm going to hit new game. And like I said, it's a brand new thing. So one way to tell me if you want me to keep going with this is to let me know. Likes and comments. Here we go. Dear Carl Stein. We are happy to announce you've been appointed a landlord of the Class D apartment block on Krushvitz 6. You must arrive there immediately and start working. You and your family are given an apartment on the first floor. The experimental medicine you've been injected with during the medical checkout suppresses your need for sleep. Thus, you will be able to spend more time serving your motherland. Welcome to the Elite Official Rank, Ministry of Allocation. Wow, okay, and we're right into it. Very cool. Uh, welcome to Beholder, I guess. That's a much bigger, uh, much better intro than I anticipated seeing. Very cool. Uh, this looks like it's us based on the story and everything. It looks like I can move around with the arrow keys here, WASD, all that good stuff. Uh, and this looks like our boss. Click on him to begin talking when there is an exclamation point by an NPC. He or she has a quest for you. Okay. Oh, it's me. You must be Carl. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Ministry of Order, I welcome you to your new position. What's going on? We are merely driving pests out of the house. It's of no concern to you. Oh, okay. So he's asking about the, the guy that just got dragged out. And uh, he called him a pest. It looks like we can either agree with him or object. Huh. I'm not sure, like, what kind of character we should be, you know? Like, who are we, essentially? 
Like, where do we come from? What kind of our background? What, what background is this? And how do we get stuck with this job? Or how do we get, I guess, placed or maybe even just accepted with this job? Did we apply for it? I don't know. But I think because my boss is here, we're going to find out a lot more about this stuff, I think, in the future. And there's a lot of decisions to make throughout the process. So I'm going to go ahead and just agree with him just because he's here. And it's sort of like this hard, you know, governmental thing. So I don't want to, like, cause any trouble on my first day. As you wish. Your predecessor was unable to cope with the easiest tasks. If a person occupying an important position can't cope with a simple task, there's only one outcome. He did that intentionally. He became an outlaw. As of now, everything your tenant everything your tenants do is your business. And by the word everything means the word everything means absolutely everything. You will follow their every step and document any suspicious activity. That is, if you want to earn a reputation for being a good public servant. If you're going to be a perfect beholder, document hobbies, interests, and even conversations. How can I do this? Observe and record. Surveillance cameras will help. Let's start at the beginning. Have you ever managed an apartment building before, Carl? Do you need my help? Okay, my name is Carl. And since this is a blind playthrough, I, I've never done this. Like hitting new game is the first time I've hit new game on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the tutorial just cause I'm not 100% sure what to do yet. So we'll do that. I need your help. I'll help you, but keep your eyes peeled and don't miss a thing. Here's your journal. It's located on the right side of the screen. Okay. Scroll through the tabs and look at it and we'll continue after our talk. Okay. so. Uh, tasks, we have a tasks tab, which is I'm assuming where our missions or quests or I guess tasks, I guess you could call them, uh, is going to happen. This one says uh, session, I'm, I'm thinking this is like a chapter marker kind of thing, so okay. Uh, we have ascended up into being a manager here, and the task is now just talking with my boss. We also have tenant files, looks like we have, uh, we can see everyone that's in our apartment complex. So this is apartment one. Maria Shimmer, age 35, literature teacher. She's the ex-owner's wife. Ooh. Oh, okay. So Klaus Shimmer, the ex-owner of the apartment building. So this guy used to own this building. Is that before the state took over the building from him? Probably. Okay. Uh, we have government directives. These are state directives are mandatory. So we must follow these. Um, it says directive number 6037. As of the year 1 September, uh, that's kind of worded weird. As of September 1st, 1984, it is illegal to harbor criminals or hide their actions. So that makes sense. And then this here looks like a messages or like a mail or something. Okay. Let's come back to surveillance. Set up surveillance cameras in your house to simplify your work. According to our documentation, your predecessor received two of them. Find them in your office, which is to the right of this room. Okay, so, oh, I moved. Okay, I moved by clicking, just kind of where I want to go. Fair enough. And it looks like I can search this desk over here. So let's come over here. And I'm just going to click it, I guess, and do the magnifying glass. Okay, so we got, a, we got our desk, and we have just two cameras in there. I'll just take both of those. And, um, wow, it's a little touchy. The, the controls to scroll are really, really touchy. I'm hoping there's like more to this than just this one little area because it's not a whole lot of movement yet. Uh, okay, let's talk to him again. <laughs> Great, you found the cameras. Install them in the dining hall, follow me. Okay. Oh, wow. If I double click, I, I sprint. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. Click on the smoke detector and then choose a camera to install. Click on the basket to remove the camera. Okay, so click on this and choose this one. Okay. The visibility cone's not that wide. You think they would have had like, oh, there's another one over here. You think they would have had like, uh, you know, fisheye cameras or something by now, but all right. 1984, I understand. 
Okay. Ooh, You're doing fine. Here's your first reward. Money! Oh, and reputation points. I wonder what those are going to be for later. Spend your money on the things you need. You'll find them at the shop. You'll receive surveillance cameras as you earn reputation points. Reputation points show your standing with the public. You receive them for completing tasks. You can also use them for personal gain in order to persuade the people around you to do what you want them to do. Okay. Unfortunately, I have issues to deal with at the ministry. However, you can call me anytime from your office using your private line and ask me anything. By the way, Carl, I strongly encourage you to answer the phone. Remember, you and I serve our great people, and completing the orders of the ministry is our bread and butter. It's also our water and air. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, you need the state to survive. Get it? They'll kill you. Uh, here is the main thing. Several tenants are at risk. Your predecessor couldn't handle things. We're hoping that you'll do better. Just tell me how. Well, first of all, watch the tenants closely. File a report as soon as you gather evidence. The police will take care of the rest. Between ourselves, our great state can be a very grateful or can be very grateful to those who do their work well. The ministry can turn a blind eye to forgery and blackmail if they help you achieve your goal. Wow. Okay. So I still don't know who we're going to be, like who we actually are, um, you know, in terms of like how we would react to this stuff. But uh, I, I would say this isn't what I'm expecting from the job. But I don't know, like he's... I, he's like right here and he's like the big boss man, right? So I'm gonna hit this one hoping there's no consequence for it. This isn't what I was expecting from this job. If I were you, I'd be worried about whether or not you're satisfying the ministry's expectations regarding your position. Be slow to call our department. You can always ask your wise tutor for advice. The keys I gave you open every door in the building. Make sure your tenants leave their apartments uh, leave their apartment before you enter it. Many citizens still think their private life is their own business. Make sure it stays this way. Now get to work. Wow, okay. Well, it looks like we're here with our family. Um, I, I think we should probably learn a little bit about ourselves. Let's start by... Well, let's start by talking to our daughter. Will you play with me? Not now, Martha. Uh, okay, ask about the house. Do you like our new house? Our new home? I like him very much. He's big. And you? I like him too. We have three rooms. We used to have just one. Moreover, we have a TV. Will they take our TV, Dad? No, honey. Nobody will take it. Patrick says they sometimes show a cartoon. Patrick. Patrick. Who's Patrick? Come this way. Uh, my wife is right here, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, Carl? Oh, she's not very happy. Talk about work, okay? I saw the police march a handcuffed person right by me. It frightened me. Who was that, Carl? The previous building manager. He didn't handle his duties well. What a nightmare. Carl, couldn't the same thing happen to you? <laughs> Don't worry, honey. I'll be a good manager. Yeah, wow. Okay. Well, we have additional smoke detectors up here that we could see. Yeah, they don't have a whole lot of vision, but we can see sometimes. Like, if they if they come in front of the camera, we can see it. I wonder who Carl is. All right, anyway. All right, I wonder who Patrick is. Okay. So... Yeah, I guess. What do we do first? Um, come over here. It says, my boss said to call the ministry to receive instructions. Okay. We also have another government directive. It says, the production of political propaganda is prohibited. Okay. Now, I'm wondering if I have to, like, pay attention to these things and see if I spot any of it, like, in my, my tenants. And then, like, so, for example, if one of my tenants has some political propaganda, do I have to make a note of that and then just, and then, you know, report them? Is that how it, how it works? Okay, so let's come this way, and I'm going to call on the phone. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ministry of Order, your call is accepted. Hello, Carl. You've learned your main duties. Are you ready to receive a task? All right, I'm ready. 
Establish surveillance in, uh, in apartment two. Jacob Menashik lives there. You can always buy the cameras you need at the, sh at the state shop. Only enter a tenant's apartment when they're not home and be careful. Oh, okay. Yes, there's much more to see. We're in the basement. I get it, we're in the basement. Oh, look at this. That's Patrick. His name is Patrick. Patrick Stein. Oh, okay. Patrick Stein. He had the same... If that's the case, he might be my son. Wow, he's way out there. Okay. All right. So, apartment two. That looks like this one. So, I guess we'll come up to this one. I'm not sure I need a camera yet. But if I do, then I guess I'll just buy it from the shop. Which is right here. Maybe I'll buy one camera. I'll buy one. Because I think I might need it for this. It did, it did say establish surveillance. Uh, we have three options on the door. Let's. Do I want to knock? I think I'll just look inside for now. Okay. That's kind of cool. So we can see through the peephole. Is this a reverse peephole? That's dirty. Or maybe I'm looking through the keyhole. Maybe that's what it is. Which is kind of weird, a little bit unrealistic, but okay. Uh, let's use the keys. He doesn't. He doesn't appear to be home. So let's look at the key, get the keys and uh, unlock the door. All right, we're inside someone else's apartment now. Uh, I guess we'll start snooping around. I guess. Check this guy out, Jacob Menashik. Uh, a broken bottle with jagged edges. Oh, some of the items contain info about their owners. Click on the highlighted text to gather the information. It will be stored in the owner's file. You earn reputation points for the info you gather. Okay. Well, I bought a camera, so let's get that installed here. Very cool. Okay. Um, how about the bookshelf, maybe? He's got some propaganda stuff, maybe? I don't know. Let's see what he's reading. Reading nothing. Okay. Uh, the bed. You can search a lot of things. Nothing in the bed. How about the television stand? Nope. Uh, the phone? The table and phone? Uh, he's got a deck of cards and dice. Uh, oh, if I click on it, he says he likes to gamble. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Grab that. Cool. Uh, a slippery snake of a guy. He likes to gamble. We know he likes to gamble. I'm not going to steal the... I'm not going to steal it. There's no reason to take it. I got the info. Wait, does that mean that I can... If I get to the bottle... If I click on the bottle, will I get more information that way? Ah, with a little skill, a broken bottle can be turned into a dangerous weapon. Oh, okay, that's how that works. I don't want to confiscate it, because then he'll know I'm in here. But I did get some good intel. So he likes to gamble. Oh, man, that chime. He likes to gamble, and he has uh, a potential weapon in his apartment. Ooh, who's that? Let's go, let's go out of his room. I think I got enough for information here. Who is this? Why is he down there in my house? Jacob? This is Jacob? Get acquainted with Jacob. Who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the new building manager. Did I win a competition called Who Gives a Damn About the New Manager? Oh, wow. He, he's a little bit rude. Okay, I get it. I don't care about you and your deals. Wow. Okay, well. Why are you sniffing around here? Don't you have anything better to do? It's my duty to look after the building. Watch yourself. It's not as though nothing bad could happen to your family. Wow. Okay, so he's kind of a drunk. Yeah, he's a drunk. He drinks. Okay. That's a lot of info. Governmental directives. All apples must be destroyed. It is illegal to store or consume them. 
Okay. Call the ministry and report the completion of your tasks. Okay. Oh, there's somebody else here too. Who's this? What do you want from the archivist? The archivist? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the new building. I'm the new manager of the building. Mark Rennick is a respected archivist. Is he speaking to himself in the third person? And now first person. I have to live in this disgusting apartment. I hope you'll put everything here in order. I'll do my best. Try harder. You need this more than me. Mm, wow. Okay. Ask about his wife. Rosa works in the cafeteria. Always in the kitchen. She loves baking buns and cakes so much. She does it for a living. Okay, so I know she's a... I know she's a cook, and I know that she likes to cook. Fair enough. Uh, I wish she didn't smell like cabbage. Okay, we've learned uh, a bunch of stuff out of these people. That's cool. This looks like that's my wife. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and report. Patrick is here, actually. Let's talk to him first. Yes, father. I don't like your new job, father. Your boss is nasty. Do you like eating good food and studying at the university? Wear new clothes? Maybe you'll support us then. Or maybe you'll support us then? Like, you know, if you don't like my job, why don't you go get one? Um, I'll never take... Uh, I'll try to find a job. I'll study and work at the same time. I hope so. I hate the mines, father. I'd rather die than work as a slave. The mines? Is he working in a mine? Talk about a mine. Have you changed your mind about being a miner? I hate the mines, Father. I'd rather die. Okay. So he doesn't want. To, he doesn't like the mines. Ask about the news. Uh, studying at the university. I haven't missed a single class. To be honest, I didn't think you could secure a place in this in the university for me. Be a diligent student, son. That place costs a lot. I won't let you down, Father. Okay. So it looks like. The state is taking care of us as long as we take care of them, right? They've hooked him up. They've hooked him up with uh, a, a bigger apartment than he had before, and they've hooked him up with um, a job. Like his son can go to the university, which apparently is sort of by permission kind of thing. What's this? Klaus. Hey, this is that. This is that guy we looked at before. Klaus. Oh, hey, where'd he go? Up here, right? Yeah, he's gonna appear. Let's. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna run away. Got him. Hello. Hello, my name is Carl. I'm the new building manager. My name is Klaus Schimmer. You'll manage the building that used to belong to my family. Ooh. The previous manager had already turned it into junk. I hope you can fix this. I'll do my best. Um, ask about the apartment, I guess. Did the house belong to you? That's right. It used to belong to my family. I wanted to turn it into a boarding house for the gifted children, but it was converted into a residence hall instead. This isn't so bad. You haven't seen the living quarters on level D. Well, you're right. Our situation could be worse. At least we're free. <laughs> uh, one can play chess at the... One can play chess at their liberty. Okay, so he likes to play chess. That's interesting. Oh, is this Jacob? Yep, that's the drunk weirdo. Let's go report him. Let's see what happens. Oh wow, there's a bus up here. Interesting. Oh, we got we, we got this here. Now that is, he smokes a pipe. Oh, we're learning a whole lot of things about him. Who's this guy? Oh, I don't want to I don't want to walk over there. Hang on, let's call first. Let's uh, call our ministry here, report things. Uh, dial the number. Report a task, okay. Ministry of Order. Congratulations, your first task was a success. You are rewarded. $500 and 50 reputation points. According to our sources, Jacob Menashik is violating state directives. Spy on him using the surveillance cameras. When a camera detects a tenant doing something illegal, the action icon changes color. Click on the icon to add the evidence to the dossier. Attach the evidence you gather to your report. Wow, okay. New message received. 
We have a new directive too. Man, they just, they love making directives, don't they? The production of drugs is prohibited. Well, like, okay, duh. Also, I must gather evidence of Jacob Menashek being involved in a criminal activity and then report it. Okay, so I guess I have, oh, here he is. He's doing it right now. He is making drugs. Well, that, that goes directly against the latest directive. So there you go. We know he's doing criminal activity. He's making drugs right underneath our security camera. Okay. That wasn't scripted or planned at all, was it? <laughs> to begin writing a report, click on the desk and then choose an icon. Uh, is it this desk? Ah, uh, here it is. Yep, report. Use the tab to gather info about state directives. Choose an icon and then fill in the blanks. Wow, it's pretty loud. This is the bus going by. Okay, so how about we write a report? Uh, send to the Ministry of Law and Order, Mr. and Mrs. Um, Jacob Menashek. Mr. Jacob Menashek, living in apartment number two at six. Krushevitz Street. Krushevitz. I forgot how to pronounce that. They said it in the intro. Violated directive number... Oh. Uh, directive number 6040. From... Uh, it's 2984. Yep. Evidence found in the apartment. Drag collected materials. Okay, so... Uh, I need... To, wow, I have, this is really... It's really deep. This goes in here. Got it. Uh, make sure you file, filled in every blank correctly and then click send. Be careful, you'll be fined for mistakes. Wow. Uh, I think that's everything though. He, we found him doing drugs. That's the directive, right? 2nd of September, doing drugs. That matches up. 6040 is the number. He's in apartment two and that's his name. So yeah, let's send it. All right, cool. The results will be shown here. The police went to the apartment to inspect it. Oh, police are here. Oh man, this is intense. Wait, oh. Oh man, oh, what? You don't have to beat him, just take him in the car. Oh, that's a little bit screwed up, isn't it? There are going to be some bugs in this game, for sure. Um, there are going to be some bugs. This is a just released, so like I imagine things like that will get worked out. But um, Wow. He's still not... Are they going to arrest him? or? Yeah, they're taking him out. We found you making drugs. anticlimactic, isn't it? It'd be different if he was, like, actually struggling, but they just basically... It's not really ha nothing's really happening there. Okay. Well, I mean, it's, it's still it's still cool. I'm sure they'll work on making that a little bit better in the future. At least I hope they would. Uh, looks like we have something in the mailbox. We can go check that out. Daily News. Dead words. The Ministry of Truth. How many ministries are there? The Ministry of Truth has noticed a rising interest in philosophy books, including the works of Paul Williams, who died a century ago. His writings describe obsolete ideas that have been proven to be unrealistic. However, they still capture people's minds. The Ministry believes the notion of a society without government... Oh, the Ministry believes that the notion of a society without government, in which the freedom of personal choice exists, is dangerous and should be destroyed in all of its forms. Voice of Truth. The fact that our society is capable of understanding Paul Williams' ideas in mass proves his unique talent and ability to word things simply. We should encourage interest... We should encourage interest in the great thinkers of the past if we want to progress and initiate a dialogue between the people and the state. Philosophy is nonsense. Okay. Interesting. So that's, we got a report number one. We were awarded $250. Subject was arrested. 
And a new directive. It is illegal to read or own a book by Paul Williams. <laughs> uh, it's also, uh, there's another one here too. Uh, singing in front of the Ministry of Order is prohibited. Okay. So anyone who's singing in front of the Ministry is also a criminal. Got it. Uh, cr crime and punishment. I must repair the apartments, the apartment following Menashik's arrest and find a new tenant. Ooh, it looks like this is a timer. I have to repair and find a new tenant. How do I do that? Uh, we'll probably repair it first. Your repair apartment too. That takes five hundred dollars. Ouch. Okay. Now I need to find a new tenant. Move in. Uh, I have no idea how to pronounce that name. Aloysius Spock. Um, Mrs. Spack, let's say. She's a doctor, age 47, a famous cardio surgeon looking for a long-term rental, guaranteed to be a decent tenant. Well, that shit, that sounds great. Yeah, let's do that. All right, cool. Uh, this guy here is... Nathan Keller. He's been sitting outside the apartment for a while. I'm going to talk to him. My compliments. Uh, trade. Oh, trade. Okay. He, he sells things. I can sell things and buy things from him. A sappy supplement. A sappy sentimental love novel. Barf. <laughs> uh, perfect for cool weather. Cardigan. Aspirin. A great. The great life of our beloved leader. A book about the inspiring life of our great leader. Wow. Screwdriver. It's just a screwdriver. I hope no one inserts it into an inappropriate place. A <sighs> green tie, blue tie, whiskey. A thousand dollars. Wow. A treat for children and adults. A chocolate bar. Hmm. You know, I got a quite a bit of money. I'm gonna buy my kid a chocolate bar. I feel like I'm a good dad, you know? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Let's come down here. Where is there he is. They're just talking. They're just talking. Hi, but, hey, you. Not now, Martha. Oh, how do I give... How do I give it to her? I really want to give it to her. Uh, do I... Go like this? A treat for children and adults. How do I give it to... How do I give it to her? Can I... Can I give it to her? Well, that sucks. Well, okay, I tried. So, anyway, that's our first task. Our first mission is complete. So let's call the ministry and report the completion of your task. Uh, actions required. Call the ministry. Yeah, I did that. I thought I did. Pretty sure I did. Well, I guess I'll do that. Um... It looks like that's the current task, so... Uh, yeah. Ministry of Order. Congratulations, your task was a success. As a reward, we are transferring the following sum to your account. $1,000 and 250 reputation. Nice. Remember, if you miss a call from the Ministry of Order, you'll be fined. Ooh. You must be in your apartment at all times and answer the phone when it rings. Even if you're dying, do you understand? <laughs> yes. You got rid of the violator. Now survey your tenant's opinions on the sh uh, Survey your tenant's opinions on Shimmer. Find out what other people think about him. Document his characteristics after you're done with the survey. Get to work. Okay, guys. Well, I think we're gonna leave it right there. Let me know how you like this. How you like this game so far? It looks pretty interesting, and I think it's gonna get only more complicated and more interesting from here. Um, yeah, I, I'm really, I'm really digging this. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bye.